Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Trans Air 3 coming to some more Transformers Kingdom action. And an into bitty spider came up and bit you in the face, or something like that, right? Might be the wrong song. But anyway, we're taking a look at another Transformers Kingdom figure, and we're taking a look at Deluxe Black Arachnia. And uh, there she is in all her glory in her cardboard, uh, uh, somewhat of a little bit of plastic prison. Um, in this new box art going on here. So this is their new uh, new version of Black Arachnia from Beast Wars. So yeah, very super excited to get her and uh, see what web she can uh, spin out spin out and uh, betray other people. So who knows? So until next time, see you guys here in a minute. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Cue that awesome intro. Alrighty, we got Black Arachnia out of her packaging, and my god, it's like they just plucked her right out of the, the uh, Beast Wars Transformers cartoon, and definitely, definitely an awesome figure right off the bat, and uh, I know, everyone sees her, he's like, we see spider boobs, we see spider boobs. <laughs> anyway, we got Black Arachnia here in her robot mood, straight out of the packaging, and she's a nice representation of her Beast Wars self, which is freaking awesome. Alright, packaging. Basically your same stylized packaging Packaging here with the Transformers Kingdom. You got Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. You got Black Arachnia right here. Very cool. And then you got a nice picture of Scorponok, uh, Dinobot, and Waspinator over there, which is cool. And then you got a nice picture of her... Beast mode, which is her spider mode, the Black Widow spider, which is awesome. Then you got the Nemesis flying in the background. On the side, you got this nice, still nice, nice piece of artwork here for the New Kingdom line, which is very cool. And then on the back, you got your obligatory product shots. Black Arachnia transforms in 20 steps, and she turns to a Black Widow spider, which is freaking awesome, freaking awesome indeed. So yeah, very cool. So that is it for the packaging and what else you get in the packaging you get a piece of paper again yeah you got a piece of paper yeah i love that white piece of paper then you also get a nice collector's cart and this actually comes with black arachnia um i'm not sure if this is just uh, how how it is but uh, you get a nice picture of black arachnia right here in a nice holographic and you pull this sticker back and it shows black arachnia as a maximal so very cool. It gives you that nice piece of artwork that comes on the side of the box as well. So, it's pretty cool. So, over on the back, you got Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. So, yeah. So, yay for cards. So, yeah. Very cool. Moving right along. Here is Black Arachnia in her robot mood. And, my God, she is a nice looking figure. Get in there on that awesome head sculpt. Very nice black arachnia. You got the Predacon logo right on her chest. Above uh, above her boobs. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Very nice. You get some mold, molded detail in here on her, on her waist section here. Just like in the show, which is pretty cool. You got a nice little gun she comes with. Um, you can actually un take it off and uh, peg it back in. There's a little round peg in there. Uh, you can actually put it in and then push back on it. It'll clip into place. So it's frictioned in. You can take it off. But yeah, very cool. <clears throat> very nice. Her nice little crossbow gun thing. Very nice. Casted in yellow plastic and painted uh, like the bron bronze is cool color right there on top. Very cool. And uh, her eight legs do move. They're articulated on a ball joint on each one of these, which is cool. So you can actually wrap them around further if you don't want. Or just bend them in. You can do that. Give her a better look. But, uh, 
I know she always liked to have them this way because she always had like little machine guns in front in, in, at the tips of them. So, so it's everyone's different perspective. So you can always just rotate them around. Well, and they do pop off sometimes, but they, they do pop back on. It's one thing Beast Wars was known for was their ball joints. <laughs> So there is black arachnia. Got the nice details right on her chest. Very nice slim looking female Predacon. Very awesome. Size comparison. We'll go ahead and bring an off-road Jeep Bumblebee for a size comparison. There we go. Always love Jeep Bumblebee. He's pretty cool. <laughs> and her wave mate would be Warpath. There we go, Warpath. And our previous review would be Cheetor. See how they look together. Alright. And if you want to, just leave her in there. Leave Cheetor in there. And keep on forgetting I got Primal. <laughs> Actually just did uh, put Chrome on his sword, so he's a little wet. Uh, the paint's a little wet. But uh, see how Primal looks pretty good with them? And he's looking the other way like an idiot. So, that's a nice little cast I bought so far. And if you guys are wondering about the liquid, this is a liquid chrome pen. This is what I used uh, swords for on Primal. Alright. <clears throat> and then if you want to, here's Optimus Prime. Because he is in the 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 Kingdom line repackaged in Kingdom packaging, so I might as well keep comparing him with the new Kingdom stuff as well. So there's that. Definitely uh, for Black Arachnia, she's very nice. Uh, we would just set this right here for right now. But uh, Black Arachnia, the head sculpt looks really cool. She can do. The ball, she can bob, bob her head on that hinge joint, and uh, she does have a ball joint on her head as well. Arms rotate around, all the way around. There's a little bit of a give hinge right in there. Bicep swivel. Well, actually, it's not even a bicep swivel. It's just her legs are on a, her spider legs are on two mushroom pegs right there. So you get a little bit of a bicep lower bicep swivel and above bicep swivel too and then you got the double bending elbow unfortunately she does not have a waist swivel but that is okay legs can she do the splits yes she can she can do splits hmm makes you wonder <laughs> uh her legs can go out this far but uh she got a thigh swivel right here as well Nice knee joint. And uh, you can move this back and forth. It's on a hinge. Her feet move back and forth on a hinge as well. And they have rockers. So there is Black Arachnia in all of her glory. Anyway, again, we'll just set off to the side, get down to transformation shall we so basically what I'm going to do here is go ahead and uh, undo this section back here bring it out untab her spider boobs <laughs> this section here come to the front untab you want to untab the crotch and this midsection at the same time there we go now her head would roll back in there in this little cavity right in here and then pull up on this, if you can, pull up on this, bring this up on this pin, and you'll rotate this whole section, bring it back down as well. I'll go ahead and bring this section up forward, cover her boobs up again. Cover up her spider boobs. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and bring this hip joint, this hip joint here, or actually, come on. supposed to I was going the wrong way my bad anyway the hip joint is supposed to go back this way your legs you want to bring them out and around she's pretty cool transformation you can bend your knees down in like so and then you want to just bring these over like so bring this up Right, so now you got her like up in a little pod. It's pretty cool how this transformation works for her. Um, then you bring her legs out, bring her arms down, bring her legs out, and then you want to bring her claw down and where her bottom of her feet is. This whole section will actually tab right in that divot. So you got to rotate, tab that in, and then her claw is actually tips of her claws right here actually tab together doesn't really stay for me but there we go get them tabbed together like so and now I'm gonna bring the section make sure that's up now you just deal with the spider legs and you just get them articulated out And there is black arachnia in her spider mode. And I dig it. I dig it a lot. <sighs> Definitely, I dig it a lot. <laughs> the one thing that bugs me is uh, the bottom part here. Because um, you're supposed to store her weapon down in here. And uh, it won't let me store it. There's these two tabs right here, it's supposed to let me slide this down in, and it won't let me do it. So, you rotate it around, and you try to do it again, and it just doesn't want to cooperate. That's my one pick, uh, pet peeve on this uh, figure. I'm not too worried about the, the storage on there. You can actually just peg it in the bottom of her foot and leave it for storage as well like that if you want. Um, but the storage, it's supposed to, you're supposed to tab the, there's these two tabs on top right here. You're supposed to tab in to the bottom right in here with her arms. And, and it's a pain in the butt. But, eh, again, what could you do guys? What could you do? Anyway, size comparison. I'll go ahead and bring in Buzzworthy Bumblebee here, what we did before. There we go. Small little Bumblebee. <laughs> Robot Mode Cheetor. Show you a little bit of size comparison there with that. Alright. No. <laughs> Works out well for that. <laughs> so yeah. Or if you have a car, here we go. Here's a Earthrise wheel jet. And I'm gonna transform Cheetor and show him size per show you size person with her on that. Be right back in a second. <laughs> Alright, size person. Here's Cheetor with black arachnia. There we go. See how they look together. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And if you really want to, here's Spike in his exosuit from that Buzzworthy. Give you a little bit more size comparison. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they did a real good job with Black Arachnia. Um, definitely. Definitely did a good job with her, uh, very awesome. You can take that gun off. You don't have to have it there. Um, but all in all, they did a good job. Got the red. 
and you get the molded detail to the spider as well, which is awesome. Same with the eyes right there. And when you get the legs, <laughs> she felt she folded up pretty good. She folds up pretty good. Actually liked how they did it. So anyway, transform black arachnia. I'm going ahead and pull up on this piece here. See how that hinges down. Rotate. Bring it back up. Bring her boobs out. Bring her head out. <laughs> Clip her waist in. And there we go. And there is Black Arachnia back in her robot mode. Just got to clean her up. There we go. And there she is. Like I said, they really did a good job with this Black Arachnia. Definitely an awesome figure. I highly recommend it, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely. Hopefully we get a nice silver bolt coming. So, so the two little birds could be together. <laughs> so yeah, so there is my review on the new Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. Definitely a good figure. Highly recommended, ladies and gentlemen. She is a must-have for a Beast Wars fan. Um, because the original Beast Wars figure, they used a tarantula mold and uh, she didn't really have her original head. Um, but they had different variants. So yeah. Very cool, highly recommended. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed this awesome Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron trilogy deluxe class Black Arachnia review. So, till next time, don't forget to check everybody's links down in the description down below as well. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe if you guys and gals have not. That would be awesome. Just smash that like button, you have nothing to lose. Like and subscribe button, you have nothing to lose. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, TransAaron38, reviewing the new Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Black Arachnia. Until next time, it's time to terrorize!